Hi, my name is Amar. In this video, I will discuss how to use Stepper widget in Flutter using GetX. Here, I have created this project Stepper Flutter GetX by using the Get CLI tool. Now, after creating the project in the home view file, what I have done in the app bar, I have given the title as Stepper. Okay. Now, here, what I will do, I will use the body. In the body, I will use the Stepper widget, right? Now, in the stepper widget, I will specify what type of stepper it will be, means whether it will be a horizontal stepper or it will be a vertical stepper. And to do that, here I will use type. In the type, I will specify stepper type dot horizontal for horizontal stepper and vertical for vertical stepper. Okay, let me start with the horizontal. Fine. Now, here it has a mandatory attribute which is called as steps. In the steps, we need to specify what steps will be there in the stepper widget. Okay, here I will call a method build step. This method I will create. Fine. Now I will create the method, and to create the method, I will use build step. And this method will have a return type as list of list of step. Fine. Now inside this method, I will return a list. Fine. Now what I will return a list of step. So here I will use step, and inside this step. let me specify the title as title text here i will specify it as personal and let me put a semicolon here and it has one more mandatory attribute which is called as content means what will be the content of the step now as a content of the step here i am taking the container widget Fine. In the container widget here, I will specify the height of the container as 100, and for this container, I will specify the color as colors dot red. Fine. Let me put a comma here. I will simply copy this step. Let me copy this. Let me paste it here. I will change the text from personal to business and let the color be green and i will paste it one more time this time i will change the text as confirm and here i will specify the color as deep purple ascent up to this if i save this then let me show you the output then here you can see these three steps has been created as personal business and confirm right and for the personal the in the content the there is a container having the height as 100 and the color as red okay now what i will do here i will wrap this stepper inside the obx widget okay let me wrap it with obx fine now in the home controller here I will declare a variable named as current step okay let me initialize this variable with the value 0 and I am making it reactive with the help of dot obs fine now in the home view in the stepper widget here I will use the current step property and in the current step here I will specify controller dot current step dot value fine now here in this build step method in the step here i will use a property called as is active okay and in is active for the first step i will write controller dot current step dot value is greater than equals to zero fine and i will copy this i will paste it here for the second step now it will be greater than equals to 1 and let me paste it here as well and for this 
I will change the value to 2 okay now let me run the project and let me show you the output now here you can see for the first step here I have written is active controller dot current step dot value is greater than equals to 0 this means if the value of the current step is greater than equals to 0 then this first step will be is active and since the current value of current step is 0 as you can see here the current value is 0 so this condition is true and that's why this step is highlighted okay now here you can see with this stepper there are two buttons continue and cancel what I want is that whenever I will click on the continue then it will move to the next step and whenever I will click on this cancel button it will move to the previous step and to do that I will move to the stepper widget in the stepper widget there is a property which is called as on step continue now in this property I will write the code fine now here I will simply write controller dot current step dot value plus plus fine now save this now once I save this now let me show you the output now here you can see this continue button is enabled now once I click on this button then you can see it is moving to the next step fine similarly whenever I will click on this continue button it is moving to the confirm fine now when we are in the last step at that time this continue button should not work fine to do that here I will do a check what check I will do here I will write if we need to check whether we are in the last step or not and to do that here I will write controller dot current step dot value if it is equals to equals to if the value of the current step is equals to equals to build step dot length minus 1 this means if we are in the final step at that time here I will print the message send data to server since we are in the final step and when we are in the final step if somebody clicks on continue then whatever data is there that will be sent to the server or we will uh, process the data as per our requirement okay and in the else portion I will use this fine now similarly whenever the cancel button will be clicked at that time it should move to the previous step and to do that we need to override this on step cancel and in the on step cancel here I will write controller dot current step dot value if equals to equals to zero this means if we are in the first step then it should not move to the previous step that's why here I will write it null else else I will write controller dot current step dot value minus minus so if we are in the first step then this cancel button will not work but if we are in the other step then it will move to the previous step let me run the project and let me show you the output okay now once I click on this continue button then you can see it is moving to the next one if I click on continue it is again moving to the next one but now if I click on continue then you will see that here this message is printed sent data to server which I have printed here fine similarly if I click on cancel then it is moving to the previous step once again I am clicking on this cancel button it is again moving to the previous step now once I click on this cancel now this cancel button is not working fine now what I want is that whenever I will click on these steps at that time also it should move to the corresponding step okay and to do that here we need to use another property which is called as on step tabbed okay and this will take the index of the step and here I will write controller dot current step dot value equals to index fine now let me run the project once again now let me show you the output now once I click on this tab then you can see it is moving fine now 
if we want to customize this continue and cancel button this is also possible and to do that here we need to use another property which is called as controls builder okay now it will take the context and it will take the callback on step continue and on step cancel fine now here we need to customize the ui for this continue and cancel fine now here i have customized the continue and cancel inside the controls builder as you can see here i have written return a container and inside the container i have taken a row widget inside the row widget here i have taken expanded widget within which i have taken a elevated button having the text as next and whenever this button will be pressed at that time this callback will be called similarly i have taken another elevated button having the text as previous and in the on pressed i have called this on step cancel callback okay now let me run the project now once i run the project then you can see the output now it is changed to next and previous and whenever i am clicking on the next then it is moving to the next step fine similarly whenever i am clicking on previous it is moving to the previous right now what i want is that whenever we are in the first step at that time this previous button should be invisible okay to do that here i will do a check i will write if sorry if controller dot current step dot value if it is not equals to a zero then only this elevated button will be shown now let me run the project once again now once i run the project then let me show you the output as you can see since i am in the first step that's why this previous button is uh, invisible right now if i click here now this previous button is visible once i click previous then again we are in the first step and the previous button is gone fine now similarly when i am in the final step at that time i want to change the caption of this next button to submit and to do that here i will write the code i will write here controller dot current step dot value if it is equals to equals to build step dot length minus 1 this means if we are in the final step then the caption of that button will be submit otherwise the caption will be next now let me run the project once again now let me show you the output click on next next now see once we are in the final step then the caption of the button is changed to submit fine now here we can do one more thing for this step means for the first step it has a property which is called as state fine in this state property i am writing controller dot current step dot value if it is greater than 0 if the value of the current step is greater than 0 then step state dot sorry dot it will be complete else it will be step state dot indexed fine now what is the meaning of this let me show you run the project let me show you the output now once i click on next see now there is a tick mark since this step is complete and this tick mark is coming because of this code so i can copy this and i can paste it here and now sorry it will be here actually now here i will change the value from 0 to 
if the current step value is greater than 1 then the step state will be complete otherwise it will be indexed fine run the project go to the output click on next now see there is a tick mark click on next again now see there is a tick mark okay this is how we can use stepper widget in flutter using getx i hope you have enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching